We are You Are Echo Base Network. I am the coach. Today we're looking at everything that's happening in Star Wars today. All of the fallout. Everything that has happened since the return of Luke Skywalker. I'm going to bring in my partner here at Echo Base Network, none other than Nick. Nick, how are you doing, man? Good, good. Ready to get into this. Absolutely. Well, Nick and I have prepared a video that tells the story of everything that's happened, and we think it's very impactful. It's a message that we want to send to you guys, and it's a message that I think the fandom will want to send to Disney. So without further ado, here is the video that we're going to play. It's the ultimate message to Disney, and then Nick and I will be back momentarily to discuss. that the perfect person to take over the company was Kathy. It's just such a perfect fit. And but I felt that I really wanted to put the company somewhere in a larger entity which would protect it, which would protect it. Fade in. All right, Nick, hashtag before the dark times. I want to say this right on the front end of this, that we are speaking out as fans of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. We have a fan channel. This is not a news channel. We are speaking out because we do not want, we do not want Star Wars to be in a situation like this. 
where they're coming out with official videos. Now it has 12,000 downvotes. This is the this is the video that StarWars.com released yesterday. I mean, we're talking about this thing has a 20% like ratio right now. And mm-hmm. that's that's pretty much the situation for every video that they come out with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ever since this uh, Gina thing happened, I mean, people are are not happy with the way things are being handled over there for sure. Um, and other than stuff that was in the Mandalorian, people aren't happy with, with what they've been coming out with. Yeah. You know? And it's so funny that you just mentioned the Mandalorian because if you go back and take a look right here, here's Mandalorian episodes. And I wanted to, I wanted to bring this up and showcase it. This is the season two episodes When you get down here to the bottom, this is where we left off. This is the last Star Wars that we got. Chapter 16, The Rescue, has a 9.8 rating. The highest rated live action Star Wars uh, cinematic experience we've ever gotten. Ever. From From Disney? Disney? From from anywhere. Oh, Oh, wow. wow. Higher than The Empire Strikes Back, higher than Return of the Jedi, Star Wars, all of them. This is the best that we've ever had. And now... Look where we are. This thing has been snowballing Mm -hmm. to go from such a high where all the fandom is coming back. And I guess maybe Disney Lucasfilm thought we were good. We got this. And then all those things the video just showcased, starting with Pablo Hidalgo, a Lucasfilm executive, going to uh, the, the High Republic and the controversy there. And now to top it all off with the firing of Gina Carano and the fans are really being outspoken right now. And I, I don't know the numbers. I don't think we'll ever know the numbers, but I guarantee you that if half the people are being truthful on, on social media, Disney has lost a lot of money, uh, losing Disney plus subscribers. Yeah, for sure. And the the other thing is the, the side that was calling for her to be fired, I mean, there's evidence out there showing that a lot of those accounts were bot accounts. I, I mean, anybody with like half a brain can really go out there and dig into this and see that, that the side that was going after Gina was, was very small side of it. The vast majority of the fan base didn't care about any of her posts or anything like that they like right. they liked her as an actress they liked her character um and a lot of people didn't find anything she said to be offensive at all so uh the way they went about that whole situation was just terrible it was a bad look for the company what whether it was right or wrong for them to do it is is obviously a debatable topic that's being discussed all over mm-hmm. the place out there but um they, they definitely did not handle it well. Uh, and it's, it's just like, they're like in a free fall now. I yeah. mean, pe- I mean, even our own comment section of our own videos, mm-hmm. I see so many people, so many comments of until Kathleen Kennedy's gone, I, I'm done. The yeah. Gina thing it w- w- was the last straw for me, you know, uh, it, and this is happening all over the place. I mean, you see, see these comments all not just on our channel but on all kinds of star wars channel fan channels out there and and the thing is for for the people that are close in that circle uh over at lucasfilm that Mm -hmm. might like kathleen kennedy and might like pablo hidalgo on a personal level that's fine and understandable but you have to see that they're not doing a good job you know as far as running this stuff uh, you'd never attack the fans, first of all. Um, and, and if you're not giving the fans what they want, then then what are you doing? What's what's the point? You know, just to push your uh, agenda out there, whatever it may be. Uh, you know, I, 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 it just doesn't make any sense to me why they're still allowing all this to to go on. I mean, it, it just it's mind boggling to me. And this is what you get right here. I mean, if I was in charge, heads would be rolling over there. People yeah. would be gone. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and I'm just gonna I'm gonna be optimistic and say that I think that's gonna happen. I hope. They have they have got to hear us. 
guys, they have got to hear us. That's why we're wanting to start this hashtag before the dark times. And when you post on social media, use that. And here's what we're referring to. We're talking, bring back the Star Wars that we love. Bring back the Star Wars that's story-driven, not agenda-driven. Yeah. It's just great cinematic experience. A, an escape from reality. Great, great characters, story development, everything that we want in a Star Wars movie. Please bring that back. And then you won't see ratings like you see all of this on this screen here. This is Star Wars' last 12 videos. They're all in the red. Every single one of them is in the red. And guys, just like Nick just mentioned, where is that Twitter mob? Where is the support of all those people? They're not around. They're not even, yeah. they're not saying a word. And yeah. uh, it's because the majority of the fan base, the majority, by, by, by and large, are unhappy with the current state. And that's the aim of this video. That's what we're trying to do. Star Wars, we hope that you're listening. Lucasfilm, we hope that you're listening. Kathy Kennedy, we're, we hope that you're listening. We don't have a lot of reason to believe that you are. But we hope that you're you're eventually going to get this and give the fans something that we are actually calling for. Nick, I'm yeah. going to give you the final word, and then we're going to get out of here. Uh, I read an interesting comment in one of our videos of somebody saying, you know, I love y'all's channel, um, but Star Wars is dead, and I hope you guys survive it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, like Coach said, you know, before the hashtag before the dark times, we want Star Wars to return to the Star Wars that we love. Great characters, great storytelling. You don't need a big, huge, uh, woke uh, social justice narrative agenda push in store. Just write good characters, write good stories. Who cares about the political stuff? Leave that stuff out of it. Just give us good content with good characters. Uh, stay true to the lore um, in the in the canon of, of Star Wars. If, if you have to go back and make corrections, if you have to come out and apologize, guys, you got to get the fans back on board here because they're leaving in droves. I mean droves. Um, and and, and the, the ship is sinking. Uh, is Bob Iger going to do anything? Uh, you know, any other executives over there, Kathleen Kennedy, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people are not going to be happy until she's gone. Uh, I think she should step down 100 um, percent and give it to somebody that that knows and loves Star Wars, knows how to run the company, knows how to put the right people in the right places to do the job um, and not meddle in that and just let them do do what they do. Uh, but you know, who knows what's going to happen? It's, it's not looking good though. It's, it's very bleak right now for sure. It is very bleak. And that's, this is the last ditch effort. Yeah. Hashtag before the dark times that I, we want that to be the next step for the fandom. Get behind that movement. Let's, let's demand that we get star Wars back the way that we want it. And I think that we're doing a pretty good job of doing that right now. And Disney, yeah. we hope that you're listening. We really, yeah. really do. And, and another thing, uh, you know, I, I, in several other videos, I said, you know, we're not getting any more star Wars until December. Well, come to find out we bad batch is going to be coming out May the 4th. Of this year mm -hmm. so bad batch will be coming out then um you know I, i'll be curious to see what kind of reception it gets with so many people dropping off uh i know a lot of people will still watch it because you can there's ways you can still watch all this content without having a disney plus subscription yeah um so i'll be curious to see uh how that turns out um and we'll see what happens with Kennedy come come. Well, this I'm going to fall. tell you what's going to happen, Nick. They're not going to have the, the the audience that they would anticipate. No, probably it's, not. It's not going to get the watches that they're hoping for, and and the proof is going to be there, and it's going to yeah. hurt them. And yeah. guys, just get it right, and you'll have the fandom back. Get it yeah. right, and you'll have the fandom back. Yeah. Hashtag before the dark times. Yeah. Well, that's going to do and one other thing, and I don't know if if they <laughs> if they can bring. Gina back if that's even a possibility at this point, but but they had to do something to fix that situation. Just well, ignoring it, just ignoring it, and not saying anything, and waiting for it to just go away isn't going to make it just go away. So so that they really got to come out and address that and and deal with that. Um, 
in a way to bring the fans back on board and, and be okay with it, whether they even offer it back to her. And then if she says no, then, then, Hey, then that's well, on her. And here's the thing something. too. That's, that's not enough. Bringing her yeah. back still isn't, isn't the trick. You're going to have to do more than that. Yeah. They're so, going to really have to change the, the way that they do things over there and not get behind this, this cancel culture mob out there on Twitter. Cause Twitter's not the real world. You know, yeah. social media is not the real world. You know, you can gauge somewhat of a perspective on things, but it's it's not reality. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to do it for us. You let us know in the comments what you think about this. What is the next step? Will you will you comment below? Hashtag before the dark times. Join us in that movement. Join us here at Echo Base Network as we continue to keep the Star Wars that we love alive forever. As always, I'm the coach and he is Nick. We are, you are Echo Base Network and we are out. See you on the next video.